My name is Tom. I'm with AV Pro Edge, and today we're going to talk about the uh, USB extender, um, a brand new product that we are launching here at AV Pro Edge. And this is going to be a point to point extension unit that sends USB signals. So this is a little different than what we've done before. I mean, we've sent USB, but we always send it with audio, video, HDMI using HD base T. Well, we're still going to use HD base T, but we're going to use that technology to send a, our USB 2.0 signal. So we're going to talk about why we want to do that, how you can do that, how you can get your hands on these things. Um, but before we get too far into it, um, if you're watching this live, you can check your go-to web webinar control panel, you'll be able to click your questions tab on that panel, type in any questions you have. I am able to see um, right away, that is how I knew I was muted because uh, Travis and Keith let me know that. So thank you guys, I appreciate that. And if you're watching this on YouTube later, um, no problems, just left the comments in the um, below in the comments section and we will uh, reach out to them or just reach out to your um, regional sales manager and they'd be happy to answer any questions and get you one of these products in your hands. So with all of that preamble, now let's get into the training. So you can see this slide that I have up on uh, the screen, 16 feet, five inches. Um, that's the 2.0 specification maximum length for a USB cable. So that's not very far, especially if you wanted to hide the cable or go around something or go under a desk. Well, now you just took taken all of that room. Well, USB is used for everything now. We, you know, we're normally use it for our mouse and our keyboard, but what about for security cameras? What about for conference room mics and cameras? And what about uh, interactive displays and smart boards? USB is used all over the place to send data from one point to another. Universal Server Bus 2.0 is what we're talking about today. And this is a specification where that is very common. You're seeing it on all your computers. You have it on a lot of your phones. You'll have it on your laptops. Um, you will see this USB 2.0 everywhere. You know, it's just your normal USB device. Now we have USB-C, um, that's like this right here. And then there's USB, you know, a, which is the normal one that you guys have, are seeing. And we're playing along with these. The, the unit that we're carrying today is going to use these, the normal ones that you guys are always seeing. The USB-C is going to be uh, a different uh, down the line because the kind of products that you'll be using this on don't usually have USB-C. And if they do, you can always use just a USB-C to USB-A converter. So that's very short. We know that this is very, very short cable. There needs to be a stable way to send these USB signals long distances. How are we gonna do that? Well, you tuned into the, the training, so I'm sure you already know the answer, but voila, it's AV Pro, our 100 meter USB 2.0 extension cable, our extender. This is over category cable. Um, it's able to handle video conference signals up to 100 meters, and we use HDB, HD base T technology. And we use that HD base T technology because USB, it's kind of like the Wild West. It doesn't have all of the regulations and specifications that HDMI does. But, you know, HDMI is a little bit, can be a little bit crazy as well for what kind of resolutions and timings and different things can be um, supported and still be considered a, you know, HDMI 2.0. Well, that's the same thing with USB. Uh, the timing, which we will get into, it'll support up to 480 megabits per second. But, you know, every that's under the 2.0 specification. Most times the data is transferring at a fraction of that speed. Um, what we want to talk about today is why ours, you know, how we maximize that 480 megabits per second to utilize it for building this for audio video signals, the kind of signals you're seeing in conference rooms, classrooms, now home offices that we, uh, um, as everybody is working from home. Um, so this is a, a, a definitely a super beneficial product, a product that our integrators have been asking us for and that we have busted out and uh, put our engineers to work to be able to release this as, as fast as we can. So uh, let's take a look at the next slide. Um, 
a little bit of why this works for today's you know video conferencing system so uh today's video conferencing system that's going to be microsoft teams it's going to be zoom right now you're on go to webinar that would be the same type of things well when you use this kind of software you're looking at me on this you're hearing through my microphone that's connected to my computer but i'm having to sit directly in front of my computer now, if I wanted to move around, if I wanted to stand up, if I had wanted a whiteboard, I need to have a different type of camera that will be supported. And a lot of times that 16.5 or 16 feet, five inches isn't going to be enough. So you need to be able to send these signals, these you know mission critical signals of audio, video and data all at the same time. And you need to be able to send it further than that 16 feet, five inches. You can place this unit in line where that usb cable would go and now you're going to get a few other benefits we can connect up to four devices on the end and this host is going to connect to any computer that has a usb um, out, outlet even if it's um, whatever kind of usb um, signal it is so we do want to it does support 2.0 so you, you're definitely going to want it to be at least 2.0 but the teams zoom go to it takes up a lot of information and we have to you know compact that data into packets send it down the line you know decode it play it onto the to our screen and we want as little latency as possible that is why they keep that so short that is why those cables are so short so we have figured out a way to go much further than that but keep all of those things stable and now you have this ideal distance connection for cameras interactive to display smart boards and you're using the same engineers that are using way, way, way more data, 18 gigabits per second. We are currently working on 48 gigabits per second. So, so much more data than USB. And we're using that same technology and putting it towards USB. So that is the way that we're able to get a lot of data through that small pipe by using the same engineering that we've always used by staying at the forefront of technology and data transferring. So let's take a little bit, uh, oh, take a look here. So now we are taking a real, a closer look at the pair. So if you wanna look, here's on the side, here is your um, USB B type. This is, you know, the host. This is, you'll see this type of signal on a lot of printers and different devices. Well, what you would do is you just connect this little port, which is right here, and you connect that to your computer. Once that is connected to your computer, then what you'll do is you'll send category cable out of this box into this box, and it would plug in right here. And then you would have the four HD, or excuse me, USB ports right here that you can connect into. So you have your host connected to your computer and your device connected to your four devices. So let's say we have microphone, camera, uh, keyboard and mouse all connected here a category cable would send the signals oops jumping ahead send the signals through to this um, unit and onto your computer any devices that are connected to this part would act as a device that's just connected just like you plugged it into your usb port some of the features that you are going to be seeing on here are it's a full usb 2.0 support so that's 480 megabits per second. Now that's the spec, 480 megabits per second, but that's not actually how much data can be sent through. Uh, file transfer sizes are different. It depends on cable, connection, and the flow that you have. USB uses link training, so it sends micro signals back and forth from point A to point B, figuring out what, how much speed, how much data this connection can handle. Well, we have tested in our lab recorded actual data transfers of 324 megabits per second. That is higher than any other USB extender on the market today. If you look at some of the other ones out there, a lot of them are going to max out around 200, 250 megabits per second. And if you pay for the big, big high dollar ones, the most you're going to see is 300 megabits per second. But we are actually doing 324 megabits per second confirmed data file transfers, uh, which is really uh, um, going to stand this product away from all the others. You're going to be able to get better audio, better video, better file, and less latency, uh, really making this the quintessential USB extender.
This product is optimized for Microsoft Teams, optimized for Zoom. So that means if you plug a webcam into that device, you send it a uh, hundred meters away and that's where your computer is, when you're controlling your computer, when you go to Zoom or you go to uh, Teams, you would be able to choose your camera options and you can toggle between which cameras are connected to your computer. It would read that com our camera that is 100 meters away as just another camera to select. And you would go into Teams, you would go into Zoom and you would select that camera, making it extremely easy. So now that you don't need a control system, you don't need anything else, this just works as like a natural arm of your computer. That means people that are already doing conference rooms, running classrooms, they are already familiar with these things. So that when you add and upgrade their system, it makes it even easier for them to um, you know, be able to share their information, control the interactive board, keep their computer secure or keep their computer on a um, uh, maybe their desk or their pod where they all the teachers keep their uh, computers so that you know no students can access them there's lots of different ways that you can use this and we will show you those in, in a little bit um, then you know USB camera support you can get out of 100 meters the host has a type B connection so that's extremely stable and then the hub has four type A connections so you can actually connect four and then it is extremely small you can see by just on this flash drive I mean look at this flash drive is almost as long as the larger part of the unit right here once you have these USBs um, devices plugged in it really gives you the scope of how small this unit is this small unit it can be hidden anywhere there's no you could hide it under a desk you could hide it on a computer uh it it, it truly is a, a a very sleek design we did have a uh question coming in here what is the max current i can get out of the usb a ports um this is not a lot this is going to be five volts so you're not going to be able to charge anything off here this isn't a charging port at all this is definitely for signal extension so that's a great distinction that i should uh, point out thank you thorsten for that um for that uh uh question now it'll still have a very very minute amount of power but this is poe so you only have to power one end of either you power this device or you power this device and it will share the power between these two units um and it will then send on some so you can have a power detection when you plug in a USB, but it isn't going to be a, be a bang up charger for all of your, you know, <clears throat> you're not gonna be able to plug your phone into the, one of these ports and then have it be fully charged in 45 minutes. Cause that's not the, that's not the, um, what this is for. It's definitely not a charging port. This is going to be for signal extension. Thank you so much Thorsten that I hadn't uh, covered on that yet. All right. And, uh, and, and if you guys have any other questions, keep them coming. Um, I do appreciate them coming in. It really, when you have a question, that means, you know, the other 80 people on this also have a question. And then the hundreds of people that will be watching this later will also have that same question. So it's better to just, you know, um, be able to be clear. So thank you so much. So let's take a look now at a diagram of how this could work with maybe a server computer or server room. So this would just be a way that you could have a secure computer or a secure room right here and this would be your server room and you would have your host somewhere around here and you'd be running category cable in and out of that room and then into wherever your usb source location would be you have your device you have this mounted where you can plug in your keyboard mouse and flash drive and you'd be able to run one of the computers in this server room remotely 100 meters away now we built this extender to work with USB or with AV over USB, but it can pass any type of audio or of USB signals. Audio video carries a ton of data and it's a much more taxing signal than sending regular emails, sending your, you know, your regular internet information. So when we developed this for AV, that includes everything underneath it because now you have a a device that is built for the most taxing signal that you can send through usb live audio video and we can still utilize this for any of the usb um signals that are not audio video giving it making it uh very very powerful and robust so now we're going to just kind of look a little bit closer into 
you know, how it looks in a classroom, right guys? So you have on your left-hand side, we have our secure server room. Maybe this is the teacher's pod. Every Maybe everybody keep, all the teachers keep their computers in here so no te uh, students could ever have access to it. Then they run a category cable to each one of, let's say there's, this is like a six classroom pod. So they run each, they have six of these units and they have one of these devices in each one of the classrooms. And then with this device, now they could connect anything they wanted to, to that computer that is securely located in the teacher's lounge, but not being able to be accessed from any students, but you, we are still able to control it however we want. We'd even be able to connect it to an interactive display, maybe a flash drive, if we wanna play something off of it, but still work as, as we needed to through our, our keyboard and mouse. Okay, and then so this is kind of talking about that hub, you know, where you do have four classrooms, you have four different office buildings, you have four different conference rooms, but you won't, don't want to leave an open computer. This computer is going to be on the school network. It's going to be on the, you know, your uh, secure cloud for your business. It's going to have access to the drives that maybe you don't want everybody to have access to. Well, there's ways that you can limit the USB use through this right here by you know putting talking to your IT department making sure they put any uh, limits to that i or uh, that USB port and then that i USB port is now extended a uh, 100 meters into all the classrooms you're able to still do everything you need to do but not have a to access to anything that could cause disruption uh, it truly is a way to keep your classroom secure for a very small amount of money and then this is going to be where a lot of people are using this. This is this is how we, for, oh, oops, jumped ahead here, sorry guys. This is how we uh, originally were developed uh, this product and why we developed this product. So, you know, every single conference room usually has like a codec or this, you know, this, this sort of tablet or this computer or this thing that just mounts on the conference room table. And that's where you control, you add the meeting, you join meeting, you know, maybe it uses Teams, maybe it uses it Zoom, maybe it uses some other uh, program, but that is how it works and how that what normally happens is you have to plug your usb camera into that device you plug your microphone into that device and everything and that's great but let's take a look at this conference room right here if i have my camera up here at the top of my screen so my everybody i'm talking to remotely can see my entire conference room how am i going to connect it to maybe a, a codec or you know that tablet or that computer that would be all the way down here this is going to be much more than 16 feet especially if we want to hide this right because we want to go into the wall here we're going to come down probably come up through the ground here into this unit and then go into our codec so we're going to need to be able to convert this and we can do that with this device so now this device connects to your codec this device sits directly behind either the screen or by the camera and now you can connect the camera you could connect five or six or you know three or three other microphones all around and you could be able to use them all through your codec um, at the same time so now people that are on this end are able to see you they're able to hear you you're able to see them and hear them and you have a very very well nice working smooth um, conferencing system where you can conference remotely which we all know how important that is because we're on a remote remote conference call right now. Um, so this is a really, really cool way to utilize uh, bi-directional communication when you are doing conferencing. So where are these USB uh, extenders supposed to go? Where, where should we see them? Um, I do wanna just address, we have a couple questions here. Um, uh, Jalen, does this unit work like a hub where all devices connected are always connected? Or do you have the ability to actively switch between which devices are currently showing connected? This acts like a hub, Jalen. It actually isn't an exact hub. It is showing for, and it it is, you know, um, because it uses a little bit different technology, but think of it like a hub where all of them are active at the same time. So you would have to actually use the control inside your PC, your laptop, whatever it is connected to, to, you know, turn off and on those devices that are connected. Great point, Jalen, yes, but you don't need to switch, you don't have to switch in between or anything like that. Um, they will always be on at all times. 
And then Susan, you had a question here. Does this need power from both ends or only one like your other extenders? A great question, Susan. This is going to be PoE. So this is sending that power over an, uh, ethernet. That means it o you only need to power one end. Depending on which end's easier, which end you have the extra, you know, um, plug-in space, you'd be able to plug in one end. It will send the power over the category cable and and uh, power the others. Great questions, and thank you so much. And keep those coming in if you guys have any other ones. So let's take a look at the applications. We have kind of already touched a little bit on these, but I just kind of want to go over these. Um, you know, how you um, uh, would be able to talk to potential customers about installing these. And one of them is going to be the secure classroom. You know, keeping your classroom secure, it's important. Many students having knowledge of computers that's even greater than the teacher in the classroom can be a real dangerous situation for security and IT departments that are connected to there. How are you going to be able to control what these students that are very, very smart access into a school network? Well, one way you can do that is by using this product and, and then, um, you know, uh, only allowing certain activity to be happening through that USB uh, port that is connected to a computer or a server computer that is much more secure. No one can get in there. No one can touch it. No one can physically see it. You can only access it remotely through this one channel that you are in full control over. So now you can use the AV Pro's USB extender to connect that hub to your secure room. Now you install this, your, um, your uh, classrooms and the school is having no problems with security anymore. That's going to talk to the other classrooms and then uh, districts going to talk to the other districts in the state and you can find yourself installing a lot more than just one school or one classroom when you install these type of products, keeping your business healthy and keeping the jobs rolling in making sure that your employees are getting paid and that your bottom line is uh, in the black. So here we go. Uh, the next one is going to be a conference room USB camera. Conference room USB cameras. Um, are very common. Uh, the Brio from Logitech is extremely common. Almost every single uh, conference room that we talk to, these people are, you know, have already installed a Brio, but it comes with like a cable that is like six feet long. And if you need a longer cable, the really long extension USB 2.0 cables are not stable. You cannot be stable over 16 feet, five inches. So how do you remedy that? You remedy it with this extender. Now you're able to put that Brio camera wherever you want, and you could attach even a microphone or any other USB device that you wanted to through this, um, through this little hub, as uh, Jalen had pointed out before, where you do have four active ports at all times. Uh, that that camera or that um, microphone is only going to take one. It's always going to leave you with a few more. If you want to spend uh, a cable that has a USB cable that is just a USB cable that goes over 16 and a half feet. You have to buy really expensive ones that have um, internal like amplifiers built into into the line, and they can cost up to a thousand dollars just to go 60 feet. So if you look at the other 60 feet USB cables, you can find them. They'll sell you them, but they will not work for cameras for this high quality content that, that needs to travel long distances on copper. This isn't some fiber optic connection that can go for miles and miles and miles. This is copper. We know a signal over copper degrades. And what we can do is we can convert that technology to HD base T where they've spent their entire um, you know, history just developing ways to send this, or these taxing signals over copper long distances. Uh, it, it's really a, a cool thing. And then the corporate office building. I mean, keeping all secu secure computers in one area, uh, managing you know the computers that are for the conference room, for the huddle spaces, for the entryway, for the um, you know upfront security person. They don't need to have access to everything. You know, give them only access what they need to. You know, give them the screen and a little hub so that they don't have access to their com full computer. By spending a very small amount of money up front, you can really increase your security on the back end, saving you millions, hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars as a corporation. All right. So I did, I mentioned this before. But this is HD uh, base T. Now, the, this HDMI and HDCP, this doesn't have this. This is, uh, so I, I actually just haven't corrected that. Um, and so this is just HD base T. We will 
you know, we'll just do it right now, right? Okay. Sorry, guys, this is my other training. But this is going to be HD base T only. So I'll get the new logo in here for our next training. But this is a lot of people don't know that USB, you would assume, is not using HD base T. Everybody knows HD base T in audio video because we use it for all of our other extenders. That's how we're sending. 18 gigabit per second 4k signaling from point a to point b we're using hd base t they're built into our matrix switchers to our distribution amplifiers they're a great partner of ours and we they have a very specialized chip that is able to be used just for usb um so it's not even the vs10 chip this is a vs chip that is used specifically for usb signals we are taking that chip and then building that hub along after that chip allowing the chip to do the signaling and then we process the two connection points utilizing HD base t's power along with av pro edges engineering it makes for a really really rock solid product guys um one that you're going to want to get your hands on right away uh, we do have our online resources already so let's see if i can just uh pull the this up here, this is a, my go to webinar, but if I go to avprotech.com, you can go here and this is going to be our uh, uh, our website. You can see it right on the front here, or if you just go to products, um, it's going to be the first product right here, our 100 meter USB 2.0 extender via HD base T. You can get in here and see all of the different pictures that you'd want to, um, see how it's working in real life and in real time. Um, show your customers, get a closer look at all of the ports, see exactly what it's coming or what it's going to be shipped with. This is all available at avprotech.com. Um, and let's see what else we got on here, kind of wrapping up here. So if you guys are having any questions, make sure that you um, make sure that you are asking them. It looks like Rich had a question here. Can you plug in a hub if you need more than four devices? Well, Rich, I have not tested that, so I, so I can't, I don't know. I would assume, yes, it's gonna work like any other USB connection, so it, so it should universally send that those signals on, um, but I have not tested that. Rich, I'm going to um, have that tested today. I'll send that uh, over to our lab. We'll get it tested and see if we can connect a USB hub to one of the four ports to create even more USB uh, devices that would be extend a, a thousand meters. And that's a cool, cool, uh, if that does work, I will draw up a diagram and put get that on our website as well, because that is a, a great way to think of outside the box on how you could uh, extend this, Rich. Um, and so I will follow up with that, uh, Rich. And then you guys, you can see the answer to that on our website within the next couple of days. Uh, great question. Um, Eddie has a great question. What's the difference between AV Pro Edge website and AV Pro Tech? AV Pro um, Edge is a residential based website and AV Pro Tech is based for our Pro AV um, side. So this is gonna be sides where we're dealing mostly with corporate, conference room, classroom type um, uh, um, applications. Now you can go to avproedge.com. You can still find this product, definitely, Eddie. No problem at all. And it's good to hear from you. Uh, I miss you. I wish, you know, I, you know, hopefully I may still get to see you if ISE happens in um, in uh, June this year. So, but uh, good to hear from you, Eddie. Hopefully that answers your question. Um, so let's think about this. You need to think about this as problem solutions. I have a, a great mentor of mine, Alan Braun, is always talking about, you know, presenting problems and, pre and presenting solutions. And you can't really have a product unless you have a, pro a problem. You know, you don't need to build a better mousetrap when the, la the last mousetrap is, is working just fine. Well, we wanted to ensure that you guys understood why this is a we a new a new mousetrap was needed and so that's what we came up with the one of the biggest parts is going to be the logitech brio camera the cable that it comes with isn't long enough usb extension products are not built to have the same data rates that we can offer in this signal so if you do want um high definition you know 30 frame per second video if you want to present something in this day and age where we have all this bandwidth if you want to present something with that bandwidth you could get this extender and it's going to um, allow you to output the maximum amount of data through that signal if you need to connect more than one device well you now have a four port hub 
we're going to check on maybe even more with Rich's outside the box idea. And you have this all here that you can have 1000 uh, meters away. So microphone, camera, keyboard, interactive to display, mouse, uh, you name it, you're able to connect it to this device. And then you're able to, con using this connected devices with Zoom, Microsoft Teams, go to webinar, go to meeting, this extender supports those cameras and microphones. So you can toggle between any of them as a connected device inside the software as if no, there was no distance in between you and that device at all. We have a 10 year warranty. Uh, this is uh, what sets us apart from a lot of our competitors. Our 10, our 10 year warranty is a new, no BS warranty. It's if you have a problem, we'll make sure that you, um, you, you're all taken care of and that you get your uh, either a new product or your money back or however it works. We are gonna make sure that you are taken care of as a customer. In the box, it comes with power supply. Remember this one power supply, um, powers both ends as we covered in with Susan's great question. And then these, uh, you know, these little mounts here, you can put them on the back with these screws and then you could, you know, hide them under a desk or hide it on the side of a rack or however you wanted to uh, mount these, uh, it, it's, uh, it's up to you. And here's uh, the specifications. So as you can see, 480 megabits per second, it's gonna have um, everything else that you would need to know. Um, this is gonna be available on the website as well. So feel free to go visit our website um, right here. See Eddie, we got the AV Pro Edge link, but um, we do, that is a more residential type website. So if you are a, a Pro AV um, partner, if you are a part of our commercial AV side, so we suggest using avprotech.com from here on out. It's gonna have all the same products, but it's just gonna be laid out with applications that your customers want to see. And that's going to be all she wrote, guys. So um, I have um, another training this afternoon on a more residential product, a four by four down mixing matrix switcher. Make sure you sign up for that if you wanted to get involved in there. Um, like I said, you can go to avprotech.com and then visit the products and you can check it out. And of course, um, if you guys are wondering, you know, how am I supposed to find out about all of this, these trainings, what's going on? You, we do a monthly newsletter. So sign up for our newsletter. You can do that at any of our websites, AV Pro Tech, AV Pro Edge, AV Pro Global, um, Bullet Train, however you want to. If you sign up, you'll become part of our newsletter and we'll send out our newsletter each month. Now, this news. I had a thousand meters. Thank you, Ryan. Yes, not a thousand meters, 100 meters, Ryan. Thank you. I apologize for the 1000 meters. Yes. You know, I'm just, uh, I'm like a used car salesman sometimes when I'm submitting this stuff, guys. So I apologize. If I said a thousand, it is not a thousand meters. It is, this is still copper. We're not doing fiber optics here. So yes, uh, 100 meters. Apologize for that. But um, go to our um, newsletter. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we have a really cool case study that we're talking about USB extension. We installed a USB uh, and HDMI bi-directional extender set that you can see right here in over 200 classrooms um, working with our partner CCS. If you wanna see more on that, go check it out. But we always have new products and everything coming out. But more importantly, we have upcoming events. So as you can see, we have a bunch of new products. Uh, the Josh AI uh, keynote was a couple days ago. We have, you're on this, training right here we have another training later we have more training next week uh non-stop content for you guys to make sure that you are caught up technically and you know industry news wise and um everything that you're you you know what av pro edge is doing we constantly are outputting more and more learning and educational information for all of our partners for all of our users um, thank you for joining on this training today. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any other questions, you, you can always just send me an email. My email is tom at avproglobal.com and I'd be happy to uh, converse with you just one-on-one. -on -one. If you are asking any sales questions, reach out to your uh, regional sales manager or just give us a call, 605-274-6055. And we got plenty of people to help you uh, learn about these products, figure out how many you're, you should be stocking in your you know, trucks or in your shop and things like that. Um, other than that, I appreciate you tuning in and we will see you on the next training. Thank you very much.